In this video, we are going to take a quick look at how we can easily uh, extend Qtile with D menu. So if you're like me and you like to use D menu instead of the build in a command or run launcher that is uh, provided by Qtile, uh, then this is how you can do that. If you go to the official documentation and you click on built in extensions, uh, this basically shows you how you can uh, configure this. You do need uh, D menu, of course, installed on your system. Uh, the way I have set it up is uh, using the D menu flexi patch. Uh, yeah, the D menu flexi patch is still loading. Yeah, so this one right here, because uh, there are some uh, minor or small patches that I like to apply. And instead of doing it manually and uh, running into issues, you can might as well just use flexi patch or D menu flexi patch, because uh, this makes it uh, much, much easier to patch. Uh, suckless tools and yeah uh, this here for example you can see the uh, keys or options that you can configure can can configure and what the default uh, setting is and uh, yeah if I go to my config file for Qtile and we go to our keys because that's where you basically bind the uh, D menu to or the D menu run extension. Uh, so here I'm still using uh, mod p to uh, run this command right here. So the default uh, Qtile uh, prompt to run any application you want. But yeah, I prefer using D menu. So you can just comment this one out and instead use this one right here. So as you can see, I already have some uh, options set here, like the font, font size, uh, the D menu command, which should be D menu run. Um, you can also change the prompt uh, to anything that you want. So I use this icon right here, the height. For these two uh, options, you do need uh, a patch, if I'm not mistaken. If I go back to D menu height, and the menu lines. Oh, yeah, so if you have the menu height, defines the height only supported by some D menu forks. And if you go to my D menu, yeah, D menu config file, and then patches header header. I think I don't know vertical. Yeah. So this one right here, this one, uh, you need to add this patch right here. And if you're using a uh, D menu flexi patch, you can just uh, change the value uh, from one, a zero to one to basically uh, enable this patch. And then you can use this uh, setting right here. And then you can set the background color, foreground color, and also for the selected background and foreground color. And that's basically all I do. And this is how easy it is to uh, add or extend Q, uh, D menu with Qtile. Now if I reload, I think, oh yeah, there's one thing that I want to disable and that is this one right here. I just comment that one out. And then if I now reload, now you see I have uh, D menu instead of the uh, prompt inside of our uh, Qtile bar. And yeah, this is how I have a thing set up. So this is all I wanted to show you in this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to this channel.